Hello and welcome to my series Scripting for Artists. My name is Alexander Richter and I want to give you a quick introduction into scripting in Maya. So before we dive in, let's look into the languages Maya provides for you to script in. So one thing will be Python, which is a scripting language and is supported by most DCC packages. The next uh, one is MEL, which is an acronym for Maya Embedded Language, and it's only used in Maya. And just to be complete, um, there is also the programming language C++, which you will probably use for plugins, for example, because it has a much better performance than all the other languages. So just to be clear here, um, the difference between a scripting language like Python and a programming language like C++ is the compiling. So while um, you can use a scripting language on instant, you just write the code and Maya, for example, will use it. Uh, in languages like C++, you need to compile it. So you can need to transfer the readable code into machine code and then use it. The benefit is, um, of course, it's much faster because it's already translated for the computer to read in. But we stay at Python and Mel. And what are like the main difference between two? So Python is more for generalists. So because it's um, cross DCC packages, so you can use it not just in Maya, but uh, a lot of other, especially for VFX and animation. It can use most Maya function to manipulate and um, it's an extern scripting language. So it's not 100% integrated as you will see with Mel. Um, Mel is more for specialists because it's just in Maya, but it provides you with mostly all Maya function, you can say, and it has a much better feedback and help uh, compared to Python. So let's compare like the code between the two. So um, if you want to open test Maya file in Python, it will, you need to import the Maya API. So Maya commands and then use Maya commands dot file, then the string where you want to open it, like test Maya and open true. While in Mel, you don't have to import any API, it's part of my already. So you will use the um, command file, then the flag open, and then the string of which file you want to open. So in terms of Mel, um, the first thing you should do is uh, adapt the script editor. There's a lot of help and feedback features you can check on and use for yourself. I will show you that. Um, the way of learning Mel is best uh, just use something, copy the command and modify it to your needs. And of course, create chains of commands so you can create a lot of things at once. And not just use the script editor for that, but also use the shelf and script files. So let's go into Maya. So we now have opened Maya and um, let's open the script editor. Um, at script editor at the bottom, you will see we have two options. That's one uh, Mel and the second one is Python. We stay at Mel for a moment. Um, as I said, customize your script editor, especially if you uh, want to use um, and need help at the beginning. So go into history. There is an option of uh, echo all commands. Um, this will provide you with more feedback from Maya. And uh, if you at terms not sure what's happening at the moment, this can help you. But on the other side, on the flip side, it's also can overwhelm you with information. So be careful if you want to check this on or not. But you should definitely check on in command, the command completion, the show tool tip help. And if you like also the show quick help, which provides you this window here. So, okay. Now um, you want to start to do something in Mel. The best way, as I explained, is to learn is just to use something. So let's create a small scene. Let's make some spheres. Okay. So, okay, we want to do something or to learn something. For example, we want to select things. So the best thing is just do it. 
So we select the sphere. And as you can see in the script editor, there are already the command for that. So let's copy this, put it down in the mail, and then execute. So, okay, of course, this wasn't, wasn't the uh, execute now. So it will select and do the same thing it did this before. Um, what you already see is uh, our code managed. So one thing you can do is do control Z. So it come back. But much better thing is just select the code and then uh, press control um, return on the numpad. And as you see, the code stays uh, in the boundaries and will not vanish. And one benefit, of course, is also you can just select specific parts of the code and execute them. So let's just play around. For example, um, let's write in select. And as you can see, you will, you will get a quick help and we will use the add command. So we will add to this selection, the sphere, Two. Okay, so let's select this command and voila. We added the sphere two to the sphere three selection. And of course we can go further and we can do a clear. So let's clear the selection. So never forget the semicolon. And we uh, banished all the selections here. So yeah. This is a basic way. So another thing, uh, quite important, another command is file. So let's have, type it in at a quick help. So you can see all the things the file provides, especially for saving and loading and things like that. So let's, let's try a save. So we type in file. And then at first we need to name our scene path. So let's, go into malpath ma. Okay, so semicolon. And now we use the same com save command flag. And of, before that, we need also to specify um, which format we want to save in. So because we have Maya ASCII and binary, we need to to explain which format we want to use. So let's uh, execute just these two lines. And um, as you can see, we saved in mel underline path, Maya. So it worked. So if you're, if you're not sure how, how uh, things like working, like for example, saving, I will definitely recommend uh, to go into the help section and documentation of the, um, especially here at the moment, mail commands. So for example, we search for file and here we have all the flags you can use. And at the bottom all, all the time, there's an example. So for example, we used this one here, file rename and then file save. Easy as that. So the next thing, let's try to do the same things more or less in Python. So when you go into Python, we start at first here with, let's import Maya Mel, and we will use an alias, we call it Mel from now on. So if you use the Mel or the Maya Mel, um, one of the functions you will have is um, evaluation. It's like the only function Maya Mel uh, provides. And it allows you um, to use mail commands in your Python as a string. So for example, maybe you, don't, you, you can't find the equivalent of something in Python. So just let us take the um, selection command, put it in quotes and execute it. And voila, we uh, selected the sphere free. And we just uh, wrapped like um, Python around the mail command. So um, this is a way if you're not sure how a command is, will you work out in Python, you can use mail evaluate um, to use a mail command in Python. But normally if you use the old style of Python, you will use 
uh, commands, which, as you see, allows you a great matter of things you can do. So uh, let's use again an alias so it's easier to type in. And let's do uh, save, because that's what we did before. So the save more or less looks quite the same, just in, in a way of Python working. So we will have to rename it before. So let's use um, Python path. And of course, Again, we need to say that we want to save, which is true, and um, that we, we need to define the type. So we define, again, Maya ASCII. So let's execute these few lines. And as you can see, we saved um, Python-wise, uh, the Python path here in uh, Python the same way. Um, it functions more or less also the same way how it works in Mel. Um, the last like library you should use or you should think about is um, the new ones. It's PyMel. So if you want to use PyMel, you need to import the PyMel core. Let's shorten up its PM from now on. So, and if you want to do, um, for example, a save as, it's much, much simpler than uh, use the, just the old libraries. Just um, type in like PM and then save as. That's it. And then provide him a path. So we provide him this path. And that's it. So if we execute this one, we saved um, the same way in PyMel. And it's much more shorter, it's more uh, like intuitive, so because we use a save as and we use the save as function. And also from performance wise, it should be faster than, than the old libraries. And it's more intuitive and it's more Pythonic. So I would always recommend if you want to use uh, Python, try to use as much PyMel as you can and just Go back to Maya commands if you can't find something, or even to Maya mel um, if you're really uh, struggling to find a command and just know it, for example, in uh, mel terms. So let's get, go back to our slides. And yeah, you should go through the documentation and use the Maya evaluation. And of course, do the same thing, create change of commands. and make them accessible. So how to make things accessible in Maya? There's like two main ways. One will be um, just select either Maya or uh, like Mel or Python command and press middle mouse and you can um, go into your shelf and put it there. So let's drag and drop there. And now you can use it here and have it accessible in your shelf and don't have to copy all the time the commands back and forth um, here and there. The other way is to use it as a file. So if you have code and you want to use it or maybe share it, it's, it's wise to have it in your um, script path. So where is script path? So if you want to use your um, scripts in, in files. You can copy them into your script path of Maya. So uh, one, one path would be C, in, in Windows, see users, your username, document, documents, Maya, the version, and then scripts. And you, if you throw in a Python, like here I throw in like save script pi, or your mel um, file, you can use it in your script editor and don't have to write or copy the, the code. So for example, we have here, let's have a look. What do we have here in the um, script of pi? So mostly it's, it's the pymel command uh, to save um, the current file. Okay, so how do we execute it? So we throw it in and then we just need to do an import, save script, 
and then we just need to trigger the function save. And you see, easy as that. So um, this is the way to do it in Python. And Mel, it's closely the same. So for example, we uh, also named it save script, but Mel, of course, um, it looks, this is the save um, function for uh, Mel. So we use now save scripts and execute this one. And voila, we use the mel um, file, um, which is much better and easier to uh, digest for you and for your work. So, okay. So this is like a basic introduction. If you uh, want to have a start in Maya and want to do mal or Python commands, as I said, decide which you, which you like best for you. And um, yeah, the next, the next video will be about starting scripting in Nuke. And please like this video and share it with people who are interested in starting scripting in any DCC package I provide. And by the way, uh, the backgrounds I use are projects I was working on. For example, this one is Animan, the one for Maya is Drupal. Check them out, you can find them on YouTube. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.